feeling overwhelmed by the amount of plugins and extensions out there. Wish there was a faster way to know which plugins suit your workflow and which ones are beginner friendly. You have clicked on the right video. I'm about to reveal the top 10 free plugins that are beginner friendly and will transform your workflow without paying anything. Now let's get to it, shall we? Hello designers, this is Angie from Ravener's Design Academy. Welcome back if you're already subscribed and welcome here if you're new. Let's start with number one, Edge Tools 2 by TopTop. This extension requires another extension to be installed, which is a library of shared functions used by a variety of other extensions. Edge Tools' main function is to work with edges and lines. It comes in very handy when you import a DWG file from AutoCAD, and there are too many little gaps that need fixing. At number two, Face Creator by Enroth. Sorry if I have butchered that name, by the way. What's amazing about Face Creator is that all those edges that we closed using Edge Tools, yeah, we just select them and click on Face Creator, and now they are mere lines no more. It's faces, and it's magic, I tell you. Number three, Weld by Smuster Team. While TomTom's Edge Tools close tiny gaps in imported plans and draw lines, Weld literally welds them shut by turning multiple edges or lines into one continuous polygon. This makes selecting seemingly connected edges so much easier and closing them using Face Creator and Error Free Breeze. Number 4. Windor by Francis. While a bit buggy with SketchUp versions past 2020, it still works quite well if you want to create basic shape windows and doors. You can choose to create a single entity or multiple ones. Customization can be a bit of a hassle with all those lengths and widths that you need to adjust, but fortunately, they are set to standard dimensions. Once your dimensions are all set, click to place. You can always place your doors and windows on solid walls and use SketchUp's native object tools to create the cutouts. It saves so much time. At number five, we are halfway there and with another one of TomTom's creations, Group to Components. This plugin does exactly is that it turns any grouped object into a component without having that pesky component window pop up. It also supports turning multiple objects into components in a couple of clicks, which saves you a ton of time and repetitive clicking. And since we are halfway through the video, how about you give this video a like and subscribe if you haven't already? It really helps to support the channel. But did you know that there's another way you can show even more love? YouTube's super thanks feature lets you send a small tip directly to me, which goes a long way in helping me create even more content like this. If you found these plugins helpful and want to see more SketchUp tutorials, consider sending a super thanks during this video or after you watch. Thank you in advance. Number six, Reset Rotation by Curic. It can be hard getting the hang on object rotation when you are a beginner. It can also get quite dizzying. This small button can reset the rotation of any object that may have been rotated to an odd angle, either resetting it to global axis, which is the native red, blue, green axis lines of SketchUp, or resetting it to the local axis, which are the axis lines inside the group or component. It works really well with Curix Align tool, but that's for another video. Number seven, Shape Bender by Chris Fulmer. I've talked about this plugin in a past video and I'm talking about it again because it's just a lifesaver, to me anyway. All you will need is that you have the shape you want to bend, align the same length as the shape you want to bend, and finally, the curve you wish to bend the shape to. All those should be aligned with the red axis. Select the shape, activate the plugin, click the line, click the curve, adjust alignment if needed, and click enter. There, you are done, and the shape is bended. Number eight, Solid Inspector 2 by TomTom, who seems to be the star of this video. This tool is the inspector gadget for me and anyone who, do who doesn't want their model crashing because of mysterious errors. Open the group or component you want it to fix, and after clicking the button, you can use the shift tab buttons on your keyboard to navigate the errors it finds. You can either choose to fix the errors yourself or just click fix or fix all. 
It can find and delete stray edges, internal faces, fix surface borders and short edges, repair face holes, reverse backward faces, and more. So many functions hidden behind a tiny button. Number nine, Solar North by SketchUp Team. If you ever want to tailor the sunlight to shine into your model without having to go through the shadow settings or having to rotate your entire interior, Solar North is for you. With a few mouse clicks, you can play around with the sun's position either for realism to match the position of the sun in a real interior space or for artistic reasons to match your vision. It's all up to you. Last but not least, number 10. Cleanup 3 by none other than our star, TomTom. Tom. This extension requires TomTom's library to function. This is a mix between SketchUp's native purge tool and the Solid Inspector plugin. It is pretty straightforward interface and also has the option to clean your model using your last used settings to save a few clicks. This handy dandy tool fixes duplicate component names, purges unused materials and components, erases hidden geometry, duplicate faces, and stray edges. It also removes edge materials, repairs split edges, and smooths and softens lines. Not to mention, it moves ungrouped edges and faces to layer zero or the base layer, merges identical materials and connected co-planner faces. Quite the impressive list, isn't it? Well, nothing but the best for the best audience ever, the ones who stick till the end of the video. In conclusion, mastering SketchUp takes time and effort. So plugins are there to shorten that time and save some of that effort for other things, like maybe negotiating your fees or salary because you have newfound skills. Congratulations on making it to the end of this video. You are a superstar. Please leave a star emoji in the comments to let me know who you are, along with any free plugins that have helped you so others can benefit. If you've learned anything from this video, please give it a thumbs up and remember to subscribe to stay updated with the plugins I mentioned. And as always, all links for the plugins I mentioned are in the video description below. And until next time, happy designing.